Welcome friends. Today we start a new season on our church calendar. It's called Ordinary Time. Last week we celebrated Pentecost. Pentecost is the festival when Christians celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit. It's sometimes called the birthday of the Christian church. But now we're going to move our arrow over into the first Sunday of Ordinary Time. And Ordinary Time is celebrated with a color green. This is the time when the church began to grow and spread and tell the gospel message to all nations. And so we celebrate the whole life of Christ and we learn the meaning of living as his disciples. And today we're gonna to have the story of Peter, who was one of the first followers of Jesus, who was one of the most important disciples. Pentecost is still happening, even today, as people go and share the gospel message around the world, you and I can be part of Pentecost and part of sharing the gospel message. And today, as we start our ordinary time, we're gonna hear the story of Peter. So let's go hear our story. Okay, friends, let's start our three breath prayer. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's light our Jesus candle that reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. And even if we change the light, God goes with us everywhere. Today, you can see we have our green spread out because we are in our time of learning more about the Bible and all that God has for us. And so we're going to start with this. And this is a story from the book of Acts in the Bible. And it's going to be the story of Peter. So This is going to be Peter for our story. And our story is going to start over here near the Sea of Galilee. Because Peter, who was called Simon, was a fisherman. Peter and his brother Andrew were fishermen on the Sea of Galilee. They worked on the boats. They mended the nets. And Simon was going to be a fisherman his whole life. But one day, everything changed. Jesus came and talked to Simon and said, Simon, come and follow me, and I will make you a fisher of men. And so Simon started following Jesus. And Jesus said, I am going to change your name to Peter, which means rock. And Jesus said, on this rock, I will build my church. Peter didn't understand what Jesus was talking about at that time. But the word rock in Greek is Petros, or Peter, where the name comes from. Jesus had special plans for Peter. Peter followed Jesus everywhere he went. He listened as Jesus taught the people. He watched as Jesus did miracles. Peter was with Jesus every day. Once, 
when Jesus had gone to pray, Peter and the other disciples went out into the water on their boat. And when they saw a figure walking towards them on the water, Peter knew it was God. It was Jesus. And he said, let me walk out towards you. And so Jesus told Peter, get out of the boat and come to me. And Peter got out and he was able to walk on the water towards Jesus until he started looking away, looking around. He got scared and almost went under. But Jesus rescued him and put him back on the boat. Peter knew he needed to keep his eyes focused on Jesus, no matter what. Later, when Jesus died on the cross, Peter was one of the first to run to the tomb to see that it was indeed empty. And afterwards, when Jesus was risen from the dead, he talked to Peter and said, Peter, do you love me? And if you do, feed my sheep. Jesus had a new job for Peter. He was going to be the shepherd of the new church of believers. Peter told Jesus, I do love you. I want to do what you want me to do. Jesus told Peter and all the other disciples to go back to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit. And when Jesus was gone, they returned to Jerusalem to wait. And not long after, the Holy Spirit came like a fire on the top of the heads of each of the disciples. And the Holy Spirit gave Peter the words to speak to the crowds that were there. And Peter told all the people the truth about Jesus how Jesus had died for their sins. He told them the things that Jesus had taught him while they had been walking and learning and speaking in the temple. And 3,000 people that day believed the words that Peter had spoken through the power of the Holy Spirit. This was Pentecost, and this was the beginning of the Christian church. The people were in Jerusalem and Peter had become one of their leaders. But that did not make all the people in Jerusalem happy. And Herod was mad that Peter was having so many people follow him. And he took Peter and arrested him and put him in chains and threw him into jail. But Peter, even when he was in jail, knew that God would take care of him. And in the middle of the night, while Peter was asleep in the chains, an angel came. And the angel, it says in the Bible, the angel woke Peter up. The chains fell off. And the angel led him back to Jerusalem. It was a miracle. Peter returned to the other disciples and they rejoiced in God's goodness. Later, Peter wrote two letters to the Christians who had been spread around the area in other countries. And he told them to stand firm, even in the midst of hardship. In his letters, he taught them about God and about how God is patient 
and wants as many people to hear the good news or gospel message as can hear. And those letters became first and second Peter in the Bible. There are many other stories about Peter in the book of Acts. And I hope that this week you can find a Bible and you can have someone read you a story or maybe you can read a story about Peter in the Bible, in the book of Acts. And that is our story about Peter, one of the first leaders of the Christian church that we are part of today because Peter's message of the good news, it didn't just stay in Jerusalem, but it spread. And as Christians spread all around the world, they took their knowledge in their hearts and they shared it with their friends, their neighbors, everyone that they met to tell them about how much God loves them and his plan for them. And so we can be like Peter with the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, red is the color of the Holy Spirit to remind us that we can have that fire burning in our hearts and we can have those words in our mouth. Whatever language you speak, you can speak the truth of God's love. Well, I hope this week you remember this story and you can tell it to somebody else and share the good news. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Ready? Say it with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, we have our candle here and we remember that as we change the light, we know that God, the Holy Spirit, goes with us. The smoke can remind us of that. Wherever you are, know that you are loved, that God is with you, that the Holy Spirit can be in your heart too. Have a wonderful week and God bless you. Bye-bye.